Alina the Sun Goddess, uh, thank you for stopping in again at Nine World Chronicles. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, Inuit goddess from the area of what we would now know as Greenland. And it's a very specific tale about this goddess and her brother who represent the lunar deity. So the tale of Melina and Anagok is central to Inuit mythology and begins in their childhood where they were both uh, together, they shared happiness and innocence. As they grew older, their genders separated them in two different roles. This is very common. And this caused a shift in their relationship. Now, Melina obviously was considered to be a goddess of the sun, but was noted for her exceptional beauty. At some point, the sun god, her brother, became attracted and pursued her. And depending on the mythology, sounds like he may have violated her, which drastically changed the relationship. She obviously became very angry with this violation and grew to hate her brother. And in some tellings of the story, she cut off her own breasts and gave the breasts to him as a final gesture and a final goodbye. And it is their animosity that keeps the sun and the moon in their cycle. This is how they represent the cycle between the sun and the moon in that respect. Now, this would go on to have ramifications in both their social structures. The sun was seen as being more friendly to women, whereas the lunar god was seen more associated with men. A bit of a turn from what we see in some other belief systems. But because of this, if there was an event such as a solar eclipse, men were prohibited from leaving their homes. And in times when there were lunar eclipses, women were forbidden from leaving their home in that particular setting. So this is a slightly different story about the attraction between the sun and the moon. In this case, it becomes gender based and at some point becomes very adversarial. We know very little about Melina beyond that, what power she may have had outside of being her representation as a solar deity. If you have more information, please add it in the comment section. But for right now, we're going to pursue more information about this specific goddess and this tale of her and her brother who represented the moon. Thank you again for stopping in at Nine World Chronicles. As always, I ask that you hit that like and subscribe and be sure to click the notification bell so you know when new videos are ready to drop.